brain, Chet. brain, brain, Chet. Good evening. Welcome. I am here with Michael. Yes, hi. I'm Michael, and I'm here with Kyle. I'm Kyle. And uh, we got a lot of things to talk about today. Yes. And, and a lot of things that won't make sense at times. <laughs> and if they don't make sense, man, that's exactly what we're going for. But we're actually hoping some of this stuff actually does make sense to you. Because if it does, you know, you're, be, you're in the right lane. You actually opened my eyes earlier when you told me a story about um, the left-wing party. Yes. Uh, a lot of liberals are, are kind of in an uproar and kind of eating, eating each other up. Yes, um, devouring themselves. Yeah, yeah. Hit me, hit me up one more time with that. So, <laughs> this... Uh, it's unbelievable. This... Well, used to be a white female went to an all female college, yeah, and midway within her college years, she felt that she wasn't a female, I guess you know i, I don't you know how to describe uh, it oh, so like genderly she didn't feel her gender was she, it was up yes. in the air she didn't yes. know she, what to identify to yes. either a male or a female. Yes, she, all right. she, uh, you know, and she's in an all girl college, all girl university. All yes, right. All right. and uh, so she transitions to be a male, I guess per uh. se. But she didn't want to be labeled a male. She uh. um, she took to the label a masculine centered gender queer. And I'm <laughs> take it as, as wait, you wait, take wait, it because I don't know how else to wait, explain say this it. one more time. A masculine. Gendered, masculine centered, Mas- <laughs> masculine centered, gendered, queer. Did I say this correctly? Yes, masculine centered, gender queer. All right, and and this is the label that she wants. She decided to... for herself. Yes, and okay. whatever, you, if that floats your boat, do so be it. You know, so she transitioned into that. A masculine look? gendered, Gen- queer centered, gender A queer. queer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> But, you know, she took on the look of a, a male, you know, per se. Okay. Know? So so at this point, she's dressing like a male, kind of looking, yes. trying to look like a male. Short haircut and, you know, with the, you know, crew cut looking like she just, you know. Button down and, you know. T-shirt rolled up whatever. with a little high that's, mom. There's nothing wrong with that, tattoo. you know. Yeah, do, do what you do. Yeah. Whatever. It's yeah. Like, you know, she's that's not bothering she anybody. She ain't bothering nobody. Cool. And, you know, after her transition into such... Role, she decided to uh, run for a director of something, uh, some type of position at the university. Mm. And uh, the other people that were running had dropped out from it and didn't say why. Hey. Yeah. Hey, hey, we got um, you know, uh, just guess vocals. Yeah, thanks. Uh, from, Thank uh, you guys. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> picked it up on the mic. That's pretty yeah. good. All right. uh, so yeah. yeah. So they uh, I don't know about that, but a uh, a Facebook page had been made to not v- vote for the gender queer because <laughs> she now re- resembled a white male, which was looked uh-huh. at as the problems with in the world oh, society whoa. or whether I don't know the world Wait, or United States and this is an all girl school yes. yes so this female a lot of well, feminism well, this female who didn't identify with a gender so she tried to go male so she went through that transition made up a label as being a masculine ge- Center, center gender, gender queer. queer after that she tried to run for some type of uh, uh, you yes. know, prominent yes. say, office in, in, in her school uh, it was a, a vote or what not and people were jumping out turns out her con- so-called constituents didn't even back her in the end because she ultimately she's a male and ma- <laughs> and male a white male a they, white male that yeah they that they was stated you know ah uh, jeez it was stated is what is going on here 
see that bugs the mind that bugs the mind when you know they're fighting amongst themselves now good they're fighting amongst themselves it. it's it's fantastic um, you know the, the feminism backlash against the, the <laughs> Yeah, the feminism, <laughs> the white exactly. male, born female, <laughs> transgender society, and, and um, damn, the, and it's like two, two whole different situations, two different stables, or two different. Uh, they're coming from two different worlds here, and they're getting together, and God knows what the fuck is gonna happen now with this bitch. Uh, it, you know, like you said, it has nothing to do with, you know, you know, she could express herself any way she wants to. She has the right to live her life the way that she wants to, mm-hmm. you know. And at the end of it, it didn't end up the way she thought it would. She's still getting shit handed she's, to you. Yeah, that's she's life. still getting the shit that's stick anyway. That's life. No matter what you are. Fucking green gendered mm-hmm. queer... Or red centered, yeah. fucking whatever. You can try to switch gonna, sides as you, much as you want, Michael but you're still, still gonna, fuck you. yeah, it's gonna fuck you anyways. So spend your time trying to get out of the fuck instead of being a fuck. You fuck. Yeah, but, fuck. Uh, not necessarily talking to y'all. I'm not, that's not necessarily talking to you, Kyle. Yeah, I'm not talking to you. Satire. I'm not talking. This not is talking all, to you, brother. This is all satire. Yeah. It really is, yeah. and, and thank y'all for, if if you're out there, if you uh, give us a call to that, you um, know, you're a listener, you know. And uh, there's also something else going on because uh, Halloween just passed, you know. Uh, but I noticed uh, Halloween is kind of taking a direction where it really wasn't before. It's it's more so, um, I say. I say more murderous, like like they're really putting an exclamation on the, the more violent, the more blood, the more the better, you know, you know. We don't want to see just a scary person no more. We want to see somebody getting their heads fucking ripped out in a million pieces. It's it's just getting deeper and deeper and deeper into. Um, and you know, it all started with those horror flicks in the eighties that you know. They weren't super gory, but it was new. It was different. It was things that you would never thought you'd see. Yeah, it, yeah. Sometimes and I then, watch them today, and they still freak me and out. And that time, it pushed the fucking, line, you know. Yeah. And that's just Michael what Myers, Jason, and it'll just keep escalating shit. from there, you know. And then you look, yeah. But you look at a movie like that, say Elm Street or one of the Halloween trilogy, you know, all that, and you look at say Saw. Look at the t- the extremities mm. between that. You know, the the first saw when it came out, I saw it in theaters, and it was fucking. It was really good. It was. Know? It was. I didn't really watch good. the uh, all. I watched a couple. I after. watched two. Yeah, me too. I watched there's two more after of, that. There's a lot of them, but that first one was really good. Yeah, the first one was good. I seen the third, second one. It was I, and then the third was utter and shit it w- to me. It, wasn't it was too, utter yeah. shit, and it was. The first one wasn't too gory. It was just it was just crazy like you know, contraption. You, you, the thing is, there yeah. was somewhat of a plot line. <clears throat> yeah, at least there's somewhat as a plot line that I could follow and I could identify identify to a character and push for them or hate this character. It's like a big rouge. It's a big, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I wanna I yeah. wanna root for somebody. I wanna boo somebody. You <laughs> know the, the twist at the end that you were never, never expecting. Yes, you know, home dude was there the whole time. That's theater. It's just like if I just want to see people in a room getting slashed up. Come on, I could look up the internet and watch fucking suicide shit any any fucking day. Anybody can do that shit. But you know it, that shit. Even theatrics has lost its really true intent of you know you know an art and just hand feeding people or hand feeding uh, masses of just uh, cookie cutter bunch of junk just shit. Pump and, out shit. Yeah, dude, whatever. If we think it's gonna work, mm. we'll make it work. We'll make it work. I catch some really good indie flicks on Netflix, man. Was, yeah. Yeah, man. You know, there's still good movies coming out, but you know, yeah. they just pump shit out just like they did with music nowadays. There's so much music being pumped out. It's hard to with no like. You heard that song last week, but now it's not irrelevant. You never hear it anymore. Like, what was the point of that song? What was the point of that song being created and put out there yeah. just to last uh, 15 you days? Because they don't have the. Why, why can't we be focused on making shit last 15 years? You know. Yeah, they. Don't. 
you know, but on the same time, at the same token, if if a establishment has you know forty thousand, fifty thousand to put up every month to put constant radio play for a fucking whole year, it, nobody's getting any variety. You still hear the same yep. pattern, the Sometimes same. Sometimes these record labels have stretch uh, of songs ties forever. with the uh, radio stations where they some they own some of them. So it's of course oh, yeah. their artists. They, they own most heavily. of them now. They yeah. own most of them now. Other artists have to pay to get on. Yeah, everybody got to pay to get on. And that's why you see a lot of these uh, old school, say, really <laughs> fucking rich motherfucking artists who say, hey, I'm not going to pay to pay, play on the radio. I'm not yeah, going to pay that. for my shit to be on the radio, but I'm still going to tour. And that's why internet radio is, is such a better outlet where the person yeah. knows what they're fucking paying for and anyone can do it on their terms you know I gotta go through that shit no you know we're at an age where everything's so accessible Ra- it, radio and cable is gonna be a thing of the past in the next five to ten years what the fuck is cable <laughs> Cause, I mean you can get everything cable TV sounds like on, some dinosaur through shit digital right shit any show you want any movie you want right there Yo. no commercials maybe a quick 20 second ad in the beginning and that's it that's you know? it I rarely watch cable TV like now that the like the walk the Walking Dead's on, I watch it. Like a commercial came on, and I I, just, like, I haven't seen a, a commercial in <laughs> ever. And I'm like, this is it sucks. It Shit. sucks, man. When, yeah, you know, it's like. It you know, ruins the show. It really does the vibe of the stuff. You lose interest of the shit, yeah. and it's so quick to just turn the channel, flip the channel, and it's like consume, consume, consume. Yeah, try to get as much. Uh, of this shit in your brain as as possible. Yeah, they'll show you the same commercial. Like there'll be three commercial breaks and at least one commercial will play on like two or three of them. Like, How? We get it. Yo. I know the Ford truck looks <laughs> like I get it. Can fucking tow a rock up a fucking mountain. Yeah. Yo, you, yo, you ever <laughs> see a commercial that's like you see um, some the most random shit like a, a um a flamingo in fucking the Caribbean with um with fucking waterfalls in the most pristine area yeah. and it's actually for a fucking shaver. Yeah. It's a a piece fucking of gum. shaver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> New Trident. Make you feel like you're in the fucking Arctic. Yeah. Yeah, really? It's never the thing it is. Man. Really? We, we, we talked about it the other day when they were this the uh, commercial for oil. Like, it was just nothing but a car driving fast and taking crazy turns. <laughs> Not once were they like, did they show you like the science of the oil, the yeah, formulas, yeah. any info on it, or like what's special oh. about it from other oil? No, it's just at least just, have a scientist in there showing the gears. Your, your Hyundai Elantra, will, <laughs> your Hyundai Elantra will move like this fucking Chevy, fucking <laughs> <laughs> whipping fucking turns out on a yeah. fucking uh, racetrack and shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It looked like it. fucking Fast and the Furious. So stupid, man. That, that's how that's how it's become. That's how stupid people have become. Yeah, it's like, like, okay, to them. Yeah, okay. If I buy that, all I can yeah. drive like hey. fucking deal or not. People are thinking, thinking, hey, if they have enough money to throw that shit on there, hey, I'm buying. <laughs> They, yeah. they gotta be good if they got that kind. Of <laughs> yeah, shit. they got that type of shit. They gotta be good. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck, fuck it. Fucks, man. Yeah, not necessarily you guys or yeah, you or yeah. me, you know. If that resonates with you, maybe you know you just up being an asshole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you could change the day. Yeah, man. You could yeah. change the day. I could change the day. Yeah, we've all been asshole. Yeah, sometimes I sometimes I get pleasure out of being an asshole. Sometimes, <laughs> but you know, but you know, I don't hurt nobody. Try to hurt nobody. But yeah, that's wild. These motherfucking commercials and these ads. You ever, you know, you ever watch a TV show, it goes off, flip to a commercial, and your fucking speakers just blow out because it's so fucking loud. Like the the commercial is, the volume of the commercial is so much higher than the actual program. Uh, What's, nah? I had an issue with movies. I watch a movie like the the dialogue is so low, so low that I have to turn it up. But then when like mo- music comes in, it's fucking loud as fuck. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I, I yeah yeah yeah. I tell you, I don't yeah. I don't watch much TV with like actual yeah. commercial. I'm usually on Netflix for like shows and yeah. shit, or I'll Yo, fucking record. Even them. today, watching the game. Yeah, shit goes off. Um, <laughs> yo, I'm watching the game. I was like, why is this shit so low? Why is this shit so low, man? I'm trying to turn it up. Shit goes off. 
Here comes the commercial. Fucking McDonald's is fucking banging. What the Man. fuck? Man. I need you to hear that shit. Yeah, yeah. They'll smash it in your head. They'll smash it in your fries. brain anyways. <laughs> Get the fries. <laughs> the fries don't even really fucking decompose. No, you know? last years. This is a picture of some professor at some university. He had a... A plain hamburger with fries for over seven years and it looked exactly the same and that was about seven years ago what the yeah. fuck yo I seen some Fucking shit weird. like that yeah yeah that is it's all the preservatives they put in that shit you know but hey everybody says McDonald's fries are the best fries but what the fuck are they doing inside of you those they they purposely Make that formula taste that good because it's so bad for you. That mm. they, you want they want you to get addicted to something so they, bad. Yo, there's fuck. They're smart. There's some smart. Oh, for, that's some genius oh, shit, man. Really, it really. That is. They, that's um, get you hooked on this shit and look how bad it is for it, you. Yeah, yeah. Get social you behavior and will get you addicted. <clears throat> These that all started as social behavior and experiments, you know. Well, they'll add something, you know, this is like in the yeah. 60s yeah. and 70s. Yeah. Well, they'll, they'll add some shit to see what happens and... You know, you know, well, even back before that, this type of experiments they used to do to fucking people was inhumane, you yeah, know, like, like the fucking... Psychiatrists? They would and call the them the animals. mentally retarded and all that, send them into the lab <laughs> school, fucking yeah. hose them down Probably and do lobotomies. Probably people with Down syndrome. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, you never know. You never know how uh, it's going to pan out, man. Um, this is some good beer. This Weyerbacher Merry Monks. Weyerbacher Merry Monks. It's a Belgian-style triple ale. Belgian style. It's very smooth, yeah, but you, strong. You, you, you said they're from uh, uh, Pennsylvania, you said? Yeah, the, the brewing, yes. Pennsylvania Brewing Company, Weyerbacher. Weyerbacher. Happy Monks, correct? Merry, Merry monks, Merry, Merry monks, monks to you. You know, I'm I'm doing. Uh, I had a long night yesterday with apple cider whiskey, but Ooh. now I'm just doing the usual Pabst Blue Ribbon just to clear everything out. <laughs> That's the best way to get over a hangover. Yes. Detox, yeah, with some beer. Yes, yes. Don't knock it till you try. That's right. You gotta balance yourself out. Yeah, man. Yeah, that uh, music excellent. you hear behind us is just some background music we've chosen. We uh, paid this band Saliva Taint to fucking <laughs> play a couple rooms down the hall. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed their uh, take on uh, Shania Twain's greatest hits. Uh, saliva, you. man. They're, they're, they're a cool bunch of boys, but they're a little rowdy on the little Yeah, say. fuck it. Shit. Yeah. Saliva Taint. Uh, yeah, but you'll you be hearing them here and there. They're all around them. Um, but now, uh, uh, uh hi, El Toro. <laughs> we have um, similar shirts today. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, 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 skull. Yo, you're wearing skull a black related. shirt with a skull, and yes. I'm wearing a black shirt with a skull. And, that uh, is great taste. In the <laughs> hey, we didn't we didn't plan this out, people. That's right. Let's, uh, Punisher style. Yeah, but right now we're in uh, New England right now, getting ready for a cold winter, and they're trying to right. say that this winter is gonna be one of the coldest. They and say that. And that. They said this is supposed to be the cold. hottest summer, and it wasn't even that hot. It really wasn't. It, wasn't it really true. wasn't. You know, so we like, got a couple of days over ninety. Whatever. That's it. You know, but to the old, if you're elderly. Uh, Listening to this, uh, don't shovel snow because yes, you don't you don't want to see Papa Joe go. Strain <laughs> your body. Yeah. That's how my grandfather died. For real, you know, you know it's serious. You know, like the so it happens every year. You know, in every neighborhood, and get somebody else. Get somebody else to be in there. If you, if you got somebody, a nephew, or you know, there's even numbers you could call. There's even numbers you could call to to get somebody out there to help you out. You know, you know, you gotta look out for the you know people who can't do it. But yeah, it just it, it sucks. And some of them, you know, either they want to do it themselves, they don't want someone to do it for them, or they yeah. 
and a, and a lot of it because a lot of the a lot of these men that they're, they're like they stubborn. they're fairly stubborn. Exactly, took the words out of my mouth. They're fairly stubborn. And they're like, you ain't gonna tell me I ain't gonna come out here and yeah. shovel my my driveway. I'm gonna do that, but you know, as a loved one, if you if you if you have an older person, then, you know, you always got. Yeah. I always try to shovel my mother's driveway when I, you know, mm-hmm. when I don't want to do it, I'll do it, you know. A lot of fucks don't give a fuck, you know. And this is my opinion. Fuck it. I agree. You know, I, I before my grandmother died, every year we would go and do the driveway, her stairs, the yeah. uh, deck. You know, she lived alone. And mm. we want her, you know, walking down those... Steps are doing it herself in a way. Not at all, man. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of a lot of things going on that is so simple. Like the 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 cause, uh, the, you know, to stop this shit is so simple. But you know, yeah, just people can't just go out and help somebody. You know, it's that easy. You know? they, like forget getting paid for it. Even if they don't want to pay you, do it anyway. What are they gonna do? You know, I I, I try to help out. You know. I, I do help out band handlers, but uh, sometimes they're uh, not always what they see. You know, I, I see. I seen I seen a man look. Uh, I was downtown at the bus stop. I seen a man going through the garbage looking for something to yeah, eat, that, and that's then legit. I, I I gave him a couple of bucks. Then I seen someone coming up and asked me, you know, pan him with a sign, and you know he had. Uh, Bet nicer jeans than me at the time because I just came out of work, but still, yeah. you know, <laughs> you know, like you see a lot of people in, in the Seacon Route Six area, and yeah, those are there. Yeah, they're not. They, they, they got nice seen. shoes. Why? They got nice shoes. They got a jacket on. They got you know. They look really healthy, yep. and they're out there panhandling. This like. chick I know that used to work at Chipotle out there used to see them standing out there. Yeah, and be like there'd be like three or four different intersection or corners where they'd be at, like different ones at certain times, and she'd see them all get in the same car and leave at the. Oh know, God! They just park in one of the plazas. Well, I bet you know. Hopefully they they're probably getting something. Of course, they're getting something. You know, like fifteen yeah. bucks. Like, hey, I still there for an hour. I got fifteen. Fifteen bucks. bucks. Get the fuck out of here! You know? I, you know. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> It's fucked, you know, because there's people that's actually really, really in a down low situation, really bad. Yeah. And, uh. It's still a tent city in Providence that nobody addresses. It is still there? Yeah, I've been over, like, under some bridge somewhere. Where? It doesn't. I forget what part. Yeah. I saw pictures of it this year. Well, good for them, you know. I hope nobody fucking runs them out. I remember they were posted up over here in East Providence, but we're in Toronto now, but back in East Providence, mm-hmm. uh, they had a whole tent city in the woods, and, you know, the government cleared them out. The city cleared them out and yeah. said, you cannot can't be here. in the woods. Isn't that so Get, stupid? Like, what's gonna, what do you, what, I can't sleep out in the woods that you're not even gonna be at anyway? Like, you know, you don't give a fuck to even be out here. So stupid. You know, it probably comes down to you gotta pay to live. It probably comes down to somebody owns these woods. Yeah, exactly. You gotta pay to live there. Somebody owns it. You wanna live for free? Oh How dare you. Yeah. How dare, dare you the even thought of that. You think you can live without us? The long arm of the law stretches long, <laughs> my friend. We will get you. We'll find you. You want to live in leaves? No, no, no. 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 We'll find you, and we'll put you to work. Yeah. That's what we'll do. We'll put you right to work. Sit on a fucking chair for oh, nine hours a day. What you What you want to do? You want You want to live out and um, catch your own food and build your own shelter and no. grow your own crops? What? And you, no, that's against the law, my you friend. You go. You, you think men? And that sounds like that? terrorists talk to me. Oh so. yeah, these thoughts are crazy. <laughs> these thoughts are crazy. No, no, terrorist thoughts. And if you yeah. think about collecting rainwater, no, that that's government rain, sir. Who we we even need that. that water, or you need to pay us for that. That water that comes down from up above there. Yeah, that we were just gonna, we were gonna we, let it soak we in the ground. In. 
I was going to let it soak in the ground. You know, I was thinking about keeping it, but I said, no, nah, I'll let it soak in the ground. But you just took it and no. Oh. You know, that was supposed to soak in the ground, sir. But, you know, depend on this. Depend on this. Take it to your house. You could live in a house for 20 years, pay mortgage every day on time for those 20 years that you need. And you start missing a couple payments. They're like, fuck you. We don't give a fuck. If you we lost your job and fuck. your wife has cancer and can't work and no. you can't pay the payments, we're going to take your house. Yeah. Talk to the hospital about fucking little Johnny in a coma. We don't give a we fuck. We want the fucking money. Yes, I know you've lived in this house for 25 years and hasn't haven't missed a payment or nope. been late once, but Never. sir, you've been late twice. We're not going to stand for these actions anymore, Mr. So. The government needs your money, sir. <laughs> but just just give me a, just give me another week, man. Just give me another week. Just say, well, okay, then we will um, tax you on that. Yeah. Interest up the ass. Yeah. For every week. It has to go up 0.2% a year. Yeah, and it is. If you want us here. At this rate, you're about to lose your house. You gotta sell your car or something. But, you know, these are just everyday situations that happen. They come, they'll take your shit. They don't want to hear, you know, option A, option B. Oh, you know, just give them their shit and that's it. The fucking system, they don't care where you are, you're just a number. But hey. They're fucking us. So at the same time, shall we fuck them? Fuck them. But at the same time, fucking them is fucking everybody. Like, who's them, though? Like, they... The motherfuckers they created, that's like, fuck, a, a Frankenstein type of system that is a... It's Excuse an entity people. that's not people. Like, when you think of Coke, like, there's a board of CEOs and directors, but that changes yeah. every 10 years. Yes. Coke is still yeah. Coke. Coke is Frankenstein. It, 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 it like it doesn't matter who's running. The who's shit. running? It. The show's gonna be ran and anyway. That's how it, it runs itself. That's it the pretty system. much runs itself. The system is there, yeah. and it just needs people uh, to keep it pushing, it going. Yeah. But it's, it's like the people is the train tracks. Yeah. For this, you, you can't poke like, oh, you're the problem because you work for that, and you're the problem because yeah. you work for that. No, yeah, it, it, it's not even that. This it, that. It's, it's there regardless if that person was there or not that system it's just been designed yeah but you know at the same time uh, all these people and individuals put together all of them put together makes a large mass it does make a large mass so therefore they should pick an individual amount put a stamp on their forehead this dude that you know not literally but you know we could do that too because you know what I'm saying I think it should be like that too if you're a fuck if you're a motherfucking rapist or something put a sign, you on, put a sign on your motherfucking head to let everybody know I think you should castrate them yeah know, right the yeah. Public humility, just yeah, castrate yeah. Them. yeah yeah hell yeah hell yeah you can control yourself but still yeah just castrate them with the stamp I think AIDS if you have AIDS you should get a stamp on your head <laughs> Yeah, yeah, even just for human, you know, nothing against people with AID at all, but, uh, you know, you should have sun, like, you know, it's it's easy to lie, you you know, know, what if you got a little cut on your hand, or, you know, there's a fly in the room who bites you, and then comes over and bites me, and it's like, I'm I'm thinking AIDS like that, (laughs) I'm just paranoid, man, (laughs) fucking AIDS mosquitoes everywhere. Oh, AIDS mosquito. Imagine <laughs> that. That's a hell of a movie right there. Zombie AIDS mosquitoes. Zombie AIDS mosquitoes. <laughs> the mosquito with AIDS is back from the dead. <laughs> Swarm's coming. And they're already dead. <laughs> they're all scorched and shit. There's flying. AIDS yeah. dripping from their mouth. <laughs> they're bleeding AIDS. <laughs> Tommy, I got the AID. <laughs> Yeah. We have to go back in time before the AIDS virus <laughs> spreads to yes. the mosquitoes. But how? Refrigerator. With monkey brain. <laughs> and zombie blood. 
Yeah, yo, we're a little. Yo, we can't we can't say right anymore because we got a copyright there. Shit, yeah. there's some there's some too, crazy directors listening to it. Oh yeah, let me write this down. <laughs> Genius. Yeah, fuck oh, it. You heard it here. God damn it. You heard it here oh, first. Sorry. Yeah. Don't, Don't excuse theater. your fucking friend. Theater. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, we make it rock, man. It is, uh, we're in Torrance, Massachusetts, and it's really cool out here. And there's probably people out there, and you're in here, and everything's hey, delectable. Hey. Bandstand Live. Yeah, look it's it up. Facility. It has a really nice facility, man. Yes. You know, a lot of bands come here and Janetic Lane. Oh uh, yeah, they First got Street. Pretty cool uh, bull, billiard stable out in front. Yeah, vending machines, 24/7 facility, great security system, a double oh, yeah. fingerprint entrances. Yeah, fingerprint ID, uh, constant surveillance. Uh it's, Yo, know, and, and it's and just like, like we're saying, it's 24 hour access. Yes. That's Whenever the big thing. You want to come up here, be as loud as you fuck fucking want. want. You know, the staff. Is, Sorry. It's, it's, that's just to prove the point. You know, the staff is really cool. You know, even though we had some. I know, me and you had, had some. A we, we had a couple of. With the. Uh, Step, you, you know, yeah, 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 but sorry, man, sorry, you know, yeah, yeah, not really, really sorry, but misunderstanding. Sorry. Yeah, you know, things are cool now. Yeah, but that's why we man is really cool. Always, yeah. Yeah. of course, Ashman in the weird village, you know. But uh, since two thousand seven, you know, we've yeah. seen two different managements run it. Both are cool. Oh yeah, and then the both were pretty cool. Really relaxed on you know, yeah. however you want to party, you can party as long as you're respectful. Yeah, and then they have a. Uh, That's it. You know, you, you can create your own recordings atmosphere or just a spot to jam and rehearse. Yeah. But they also have a room with the full soundboard to record. You can uh, rock on stage to oh, you know, yeah. get the the. Feel the you sound. Have the whole the stage room. and run out here and rock your own show, your yeah. own night. You know, this yeah. all that is included with the rent of a room. And it's a yeah. really good, really good facility, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. excellent. Zero complaints about it, man. Yeah, excellent. And um, it's right above a. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Got fucking making like Iron Man suits next door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going down. It's, it's going crazy. down downstairs. They're making Iron Man shoes. Some steel. Shit. Fucking you might hear beams. it. Ba boom. Massive machinery. It's excellent. It's excellent. Man. You know, mixed yeah. with heavy metal music, it's kind of like it's good really, atmosphere for it, some raw shit. It's really industrial. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Like <laughs> uh, yeah, man. But you know, podcast number two, man. Podcast number two. We're gonna it's keep real. going, you know. And we we're not uh, representing any parties or anything. No, we're we are we are not this or that that no. we're not labeling no, us. And sometimes we're it's all satire. We're doing it for laughs. Sometimes mm-hmm. we're just playing devil's advocate just for sake of the argument mm-hmm. and conversation. And we just want to so. just revolve every aspect on whatever topic. Yeah, you know. But can, can I can I bring up a real controversial thing? Sure. All right. Since we get it, this is going to be real controversial. A lot of people is going to take this the wrong way. Great. But I'm going to say it. Bring it on. Okay. Um, I'm going to say a statement. I don't know if y'all agree with me or not, but if you don't, it's cool. If you do, it's cool. You've built right. it up enough. All right. How come wherever I, well, all in many places, why is fag being stuffed down my throat? <laughs> Gay, everything's gay and bisexual and by fashion, by trendy. With tr- what the fuck is this? Everything's gay. Everything's like <laughs> it's cool that you're gay. I'm not saying I have you know. Everybody says I have many gay friends. I do. I actually have many gay friends. I have nothing wrong. You know, gay people are cool as shit. But I don't. I'm not walking around forcing uh, heterosexuality down everybody. Hey, you gotta be 
You gotta be straight, yeah. man. Or hey, look at I'm straight. I'm straight. Hi, I'm straight. I'm straight. Yeah, like, whatever. And, and if, if all it's that it can be presented, then if I want to, you know, fuck a pig, I should be able to present that, you know, as equal, right? Yeah, right. Like, right. To be shown. Oh wow, great. My bet Ziggy wanna come through. Yeah. To get down. <laughs> we need to get down. Sorry. Seriously. No, I, you know, I have no, no I attraction of pigs. And, and but sometimes no, he's just I, like I've that. seen some choices of some guys and you know they could be kind of conservative he's pigs and <laughs> I've seen some real gargoyle-ish decisions. No nah, man, but I am just not I'm you know it's like how come we can't have a heterosexual straight parade down the down the street? But they could have this gay pride parade. What's up with that? I don't know. I can't you know What's going on here? I can't walk around. Maybe no one's ever tried to start. Let's start our. Let's go start a heterosexual parade. <laughs> let's do it. A header. <laughs> Cox rim and vagina is the way. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like how they do, like <laughs> all like ultra stereotype of what's yeah. straight and all that. Hell you yeah. know, we should. Why not? Let's yeah, let's they do it. Fun. Let's do it. People want to get a heterosexual you know? parade. Okay, that'd be fun. It would be. It would be. They opened and up the doors. Everybody, everybody can come. Everybody. This is not. We're not starting any no. discrimination. We no. just want to have just as much fun. Like parades are fun. Why can't yeah. we have fun? You know? Let's have fun in the name of just heterosexuals. Yeah, and everyone's welcome. And yeah, yeah, everybody. All day. the gays, all the squares, the queers, the gender queers, and yeah. the gender fluids, and all the transgendered, and the yeah, masculine the, centered, the, and the, the feminine the centered, the and the Z, and the sej, and the zij, and the cash, <laughs> the cash, the the smile, the zij. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, one of the kids I was working with was having that discussion. You know, I told him that story earlier that when we spoke on the podcast with the, the gender queer, and you know, we were talking about the gender fluid, and we were, you know, he, he's he's Portuguese, you know, and raised Portuguese, and we were saying like, <laughs> how how would you bring that up to a, like a real old school hard ass Portuguese father like I'm gender fluid <laughs> hey what do you mean are you gay you gay no I'm not gay I don't like guys I'm just I'm like like floating between both hey, that sounds gay to me no I'm not gay no. hey, if I, you are gay <laughs> that's not you know you couldn't explain gay, I'm gay. gender fluid all right? I'm, I'm genderly fluid right now <laughs> I'm so like generally fluid. Like, hey, even, my, my son is gay. I have a gay son in play. You won't hear the Portuguese kids making a skit about that. You know they got to be politically correct. Mm. I just I like laughing, motherfucker. It's like it's, it's like now you can't even actually be gay no more. <laughs> you know you can't it's even not cool act to be gay. No, no, no. It's not even cool to be gay anymore. This guy I work with, the assistant manager, who's worked there like. For like 20 years, you know, I've known him my, almost my whole life, and, she, and you know, he had been in the yeah. closet for a long time. He's gay, but you you could never tell. Like he's like out of shape and bare, and like and he hates like feminine gays, like the ones that talk funny. Yeah. Fucking, like, he hates them and shit. Does he have glasses? Yeah, you probably Yo, see him a bunch of times. Uh, Kevin Machado. Kevin Machado. <laughs> Sorry, I just said somebody's <laughs> name. We're gonna bleep that out. Sorry. Um. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's not it, but <laughs> no, no. Sorry, dude. We know, but he's a queer. <laughs> he's, he's a cool. Queer or he's a, a queer? cool queer. He's cool because he I, don't mind. You know, the name's not, familiar. I, but I, I can't feel I feel face. totally comfortable around the dude. Like yeah, like he, he's anybody matter. else. You know what I mean? It ain't yeah. It ain't nothing. You know, like, like this is at work. Like you, you could never tell, and he doesn't ever like no. broadcast it. Yeah. And it's just like exposed. I don't feel like he's checking me out, or you know, you know, like it's, come on, they can live however they want to live. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's not like you know, back in the day where they used to get hanged and fucking <laughs> all this crazy shit, which is totally inappropriate <laughs> for nowadays. It really is. Yeah, no more hangings. Yeah, I know. I know you're a little upset about that, Kyle. God damn it! I mean, Sorry. You know, you know the, well, there was no entertainment back then. We didn't have computers and laptops back I know, then. The so weekly, hey. the weekly guillotine was fucking. Yo, that's like the movies. At the, I know. Saturday We're gonna be late. Come yeah. on. You wear your nice clothes. Hurry up! Get that cat. <laughs> the lynching already. Yeah, come on. <laughs> they finally caught this thief after two months. <laughs> 
Yeah, I see him hanging up on the stable now. He's bringing him up on a ladder. Yeah, man. Just, uh, just hey, in front of everybody. Public display. Um, execution. You know, but you know, hey, if 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 somebody got if somebody's caught doing a really heinous thing, eradicate. I, yeah. They're, that genetic alone might fuck up the gene pool of Thank you. future geneticisms. Yeah. yeah, even if that flies, if it doesn't, you know exactly what we're saying. Man, it's, it's mental illness, I understand. Oh, man, it is. So yes. why would you want to keep You're going to drug him and study him his whole life? Is that the only other alternative? Keep him, keep him around for population control? <clears throat> Shit. Because there's a lot of murderers still out. They let go. Craig Price. They're all over the place. They're walking around right next to I you. I think about that all the time at work because I see hundreds of people a day. Like anyone who can be a killer thinking about killing, be a rapist, a pedophile. Like, More than you, you know. know. Like I just had a, a splendid conversation with a stranger who mm. down low is thinking about fucking kids. And like, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. For real. I, I just yeah. randomly like just looked up yeah. shit like you know the, the sex offenders see like the list of their, where they are in the cities. Yeah, and it just so happens to be one on Rochelle Circuit or Street, whatever. Oh, really? It's conveniently placed right across the street from the park, where you can see view. Like you'd come down the hill really? to the parking lot. Wow! Wow! Street. My house is wow. right there. This like wow. It's fucked. It's fucked. You're gonna have to point that out to me, man. That's it's like crazy. say if you take that street, I'd say it's the third one in, third maybe fourth, but like perfect just view, perfect and view of, walk the, to of, and of the whole park. That bothers me. Of a the whole bit. park right in front of the park, you know. That bothers little me. kids all this the time. Dude has a charge. I forgot what the charge was, but something to do with the minor. And here he is, yeah. allowed to live right there. Right there, in front of a of a park. A recreational me, park man. for children and kids. Yep, in like a a, a neighborhood that I would, you wouldn't expect. You know, not to say oh, it's no. like that one's like. Mm, that's why I really think they need to bring back that old type of. Mm, Let's hang them. Not branding shit. Not really branding. Put a like sign on his yard. yard. At least a sign, or even on him. He or, on his personal. He has to wear something all the time. We should put a sign showing. At the park. Put a sign at the park like this house. We'll take a picture of it Beware. with the address. Yeah, yeah. Put it, like all over the park great. at the benches, so like the, the parents will see it. I'm so down to do that. Uproar. Yeah. Well, and they'll know where it came from. I don't care. We'll even put another sign across the street from the house, like with an arrow, like this is it. <laughs> this, is for it. <laughs> this is the <laughs> one. <laughs> don't go there. Like, like this. This should be a petition to remove that. Things with the minor. Yeah, he need, Yeah, he needs to go. It's he needs to go. Yeah, eradicate. But they're like they're all over the place. I remember we knew one of the fucks. Oh yeah, we knew the dude. He has a name. Uh, uh, Josh Cruz. Oh, you not. said it. You said it. Oh. You said it. <laughs> well, fuck him. There's two of them, <laughs> but not the one that Scuba Steve got into a fight with. Oh, the shit. Other, this other fuck with, like, a more, like, a square head, like... Yeah, I know exactly head. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, shorter dude. He, yeah, he, yeah. He fucked around with the yeah. minor. I like, know, you know, I used to go to like, church was, with him. Yeah, he was I used to go to church the, with it him. It was in his church. Yeah. It was a girl in the church program. He was either volunteering it or then. doing, like, public... Uh, he was talking, service. yeah, yeah, he was, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I was in the youth group. Fucking around with him. Fucker. Yeah. What a fuck. Right. He's a fuck. Wow. In the, in the church. All kinds of names. In the, in the fucking church. Yo, I don't I know, know if it was in the yo, church, but it was yo, a girl. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about the same church. <laughs> let me tell you about the same church. Let me tell you about the same church. Yo, I went to the. Let I, me tell In that same church, I liked it. <laughs> um. Let me tell you something about that same church. There was a kid in there. I forget his name. Don't say his name. <laughs> All right, good thing I forget it. He was always weird. Seemed a little weird to me. I always say what up to him and try to talk to him, get him out of his shell. But he was kind of cool. It just seemed a little awkward. Okay? But he seemed cool as shit. 
years later, a couple years later, he's on the news. He's on the news, fucking on some diddler shit. Damn. Touching on a, a boy or exposing himself to a a minor. He went to a high school, that's right. I believe so. Did he? I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But Still, yeah, from that same fuck, church, man. that same church, bro. Shall I say that church's name? <laughs> So I try to try to try to try the church's name. The Z- <laughs> If you want to hear the rest, if yes. you want to hear the rest, it's, click up here. <laughs> is it the church's fault though, or is it just people are fucks? I think it's just people are fucks. Fuck! Sorry. Um, no matter what church you go to, there's gonna be some fucks in them. Just like yeah. no matter where you go, Anywhere, there's gonna be man. some. Yeah. And you Seriously. know, people. Like people, there's a lot of people who like do really good in society to like make up for what they're hiding. Like, yeah, think, uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Sandusky, like he was doing so much, you know, for the school, the, the school team, and with, with charity and kids and all that. Yeah, and, like, man. Secretly, he's fucking them and, and shit. And, you know, they, they, you know, they should have, they should have bagged them really early. A paternal. Paterno should have fucking been on that shit, shit, man. Everybody should have been on that shit. It's a lack of awareness and attention by that whole staff and that whole school, man. It was horrible. Put a blind eye to some wrongdoing. Yeah. You know, I don't care if there's some kids getting hurt, if there's children getting hurt. I don't care if you're going to, you know, say, okay, he needs help. so much good for his school. He needs help, you know. He has a problem. Oh, he has a problem. Yeah, he has a fucking problem. Let's go fucking tie him up to a tray hammer. Sorry, guys. Not all that, but that, that may, that's how it makes me feel, you know. <laughs> I feel like we should handle this appropriately. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but you know, th- that is much more logical than ju- than just letting them go for all, you know, all this time. You know, they didn't want to deal with it, and 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 that it's sad because that that's pretty much what killed Paterno. He died yeah, really fuck shortly him. out there. Fuck him. Yeah, he was an old man. He was a very old man. Allowing and a kind soul. that shit to happen is just as bad as doing it. It is very true. If you're turning a blind eye, man, it's just as bad, bro. I know he he said something to him. He go he went and he told he told the board of directors or whatnot. He made a complaint or something like that. But he wasn't adamant. Like, yo, we got to kick this guy off the fucking squad. Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Get him off my team. And hey. They're fucks. They're fucks. And what do we say about fucks? They're fucks. What do we say about fucks? They're fucks. What do we say about fucks? They're fucks. What do we say? They're fucks. Sorry. Back up. Um, yeah. You know what fucks like the most? Hot cups. Uh, this hot cup phenomena. Yeah, yeah. It's a Dunkin' Donuts thing uh, where when you get a iced coffee in a plastic cup, you ask for an additional styrofoam cup of a larger slot size to slip over it. Yes, for what, insulation. For insulation, what it's, so believe. their their hands don't get cold, or does it keep the uh, dr- it, drink colder? Or I'm sure there's different reasons for different peoples. All right, but the style, the fashion. <laughs> It looks cool if I have this two cups. <laughs> Look at this. I know I feel important with two cups. You know. Yeah, you know. Um, There's just people who are rude about it that can't acknowledge your existence, or uh, you know, when greeted instead it, of embracing the greeting and you know retracting a greeting, they just immediately delve for the hot cup. Hot cup. <laughs> the symbol is now a hand symbol. If you could see me, it'd be like, if I was like, I flipped over a turtle and was like jerking it off. You know, that's what I get oh, God. that they're giving me at the window. Like, I'll be like, oh, can I get a, uh, uh, and I'm right. like, 
Uh, you want to you want to jerk me off? Is that what you're serving me? <laughs> All right, can, can we do something right now? Can we do something? I'm I'm you, and, and I'm you, and you're one of those fucks, those okay. hot hot cup phenomenon okay. fucks. So I have to drive. Yeah, up. you drive up. Okay. Hey, how are you today? Hot cup. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 <laughs> wait, right, wait, 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 time out, time out, you wanna do it again? No, time, time out, what the fuck was that, oh my, that's how it is, like, yeah, yeah. I Sometimes. just said hi, how are you doing today, and you replied, <laughs> and you replied with hot cup, hot cup, oh. okay, all right. Yeah. Let's do this one more time. Okay. Let's do this one more time. But if if you try yeah. if you try if you're playing me, yeah. I say I uh, first thing I say is good morning. That, good that's my good morning. First thing like I, that, like some good morning. I'm like good morning. Yeah, it's yeah. pleasant. Uh, trying, to be, right. trying to be pleasant. Right. I'm not always pleasant, but right. it's usually a fake pleasant. Because <laughs> of fuck. Right. Yeah. So this is me driving up to me. Good morning. Hot cup. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Hold on. Do, let's do it again. Yeah, one more time. Good morning. Hot cup. Um. Uh. How can I? Good can morning. Can I get a? Can I get a? Uh, ex- excuse me, sir. Um, I said hot cup. Uh, okay. No, I want to talk to your manager. <laughs> you sir, sucks. Just Every time cup. I come here, uh, I get the fucking uh, rack around. Uh, I listen, ask for sir, a hot cup, calm down, sir. and I never get a hot cup. Calm, Do you know I what this swear, means? I this swear, means hot I cup, okay? You, you, you look jerk like off, you're a fucking tired of coming here and asking for a hot fucking, cup. Yo, I fuck this shit. <laughs> Sorry, that got a little out of hand. <laughs> That that's act, for the record. That's never happened, and I, I if it did, dude, you go I through this shit coffee. every day. Do you go through this every day? I go through that in my brain. Oh, what, what that escalated to happens yeah, in my brain oh, for sure. Oh my god! But right. it doesn't manifest Whew. because I probably have lost my job if it did. Oh man! So so I would guess like I'm going through this like every single day. You know, stressful. It, it, would, it would like it magnifies in your brain. Yes. Um, so when they are so persistent with that rudeness, do do you do you like slick off to them or you just ignore them or? I ignore it. Like I'll yeah. become silent or I don't. It's just distant from them or something. For me, it, it's, it's like I don't know. A lot of people they just can ignore it, I guess. But it's like when you deal with. I mean, let's just say even like 75 strangers who are fucking just ignoring you or unpleasant yeah. or miserable. Yeah. Like, that's going to like affect me slowly chipping yes. away at me. Yeah. Slowly chipping away at me. Like, and like, I don't know, maybe I'm more empathetic. Maybe I'm too like trying to engage with the person. I'm not just trying to like hand them the shit like a robot that they maybe they want me to be, but... It does chip away at me, man. I feel like it, it's stressful, man. It's stressful dealing with people who just maybe don't know how to be with in yeah, public. Yeah. Or at times, do you do you feel like, in a sense, that robot, that Sometimes. that robot that they want you to be, that they just want you to be a extended hand, just with the yeah. arm hand and shit out, take. And take, not, not hand, so much, take, hand. not so much what the customers want me to be, but what the corporation wants me to be. Really? Yeah, because wow. they have these all these standards, standards. that it's supposed to be and what you're supposed to say and all this stupid shit. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why a lot of wow. like, you know, my parents were uh, GMs before the corporate buyout. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah. they wanted to get rid of all all of the general managers who were there before that. They want to get Damn. their own people. They're wiping them out. Oh my god. You know what I mean? So they were never on the side of my folks anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe you shouldn't have Because you're keeping it a family that, business. You're keeping it a family <clears throat> business. <clears throat> you know, <throat> not selling out to a corporation. You know, but and it, it, they had to because, you know, because uh, that's what happened. Yeah. And uh, This British company bought it out. Yeah, I know it, it changed a lot. You got the first of all the menu got like 
fucking Crazy. huge. Crazy. I remember it used to be just coffee, donuts, muffin. Coffee, donuts, bagel. And then now it's... Yeah, like a yeah. breakfast spot. <clears throat> now you can get dinner. It's like a friendlies, you know? With can I have... some Robins. Yeah. <clears throat> with a cherry on whipped cream, with a cherry on top. Yeah. yeah. My, my uh, I was with my, I was with my cousin. I drive my little cousin. I drive up to a, a Dunkin' Donuts. You know, we order. I hardly ever get iced coffee, you know. But I did get an iced coffee because it was hot, you know. And I just got done playing ball, and he came. Uh, I got the coffee from the lady, and I bring it in. And I say thank you, and I'm about to jive off. And my little cousin says, "Hey, wait, stop, stop! Tell her to get some hot cups. Get some hot cups." I looked at him, and I said, "You need a hot cup? What's the matter? What your hands gonna get cold? Come on, you fucking pussy!" And I just drove off. Just drove off. Yeah. It's like, why do we need? Did, why do we girl. need? Yeah, stop being a fucking girl. Okay, <laughs> like when I see that hot cup phase, when I first seen yeah, that was, was like back thing. in the day, was all the girl things or some like really uh, varsity type guy, like some yeah. fucking queer boy, you know? <laughs> you know, Just, yeah, one of the I wanted the girls to like him. Yeah, dudes like that, you know, and some chicks. It was with the hot cup with the extra, extra, extra. Yeah, it's extra. more of a look, you know, rather than just liking the coffee. Yeah. You want to look like it's a souped-up coffee with yeah, a little... Like, like, French Vanilla Extra Extra was, uh, for a long time, just, like... You know how they have, like, basic bitch shit? Like, yeah. that would be... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would, yeah, yeah, sure. Coffee would. choice. People, like... French Vanilla Extra Extra. Yeah, there are people to this day that just die hard that. That's all they'll ever have. They never, extra. like, try that shit, shit. That shit tastes like fucking sugar. Just all oh, fucking sugar maple syrup and it's like you're not even tasting coffee it's like a coffee milk the best is when there's like free coffee day and all the little martin fucks come home and they're like oh uh, uh, i'll have a coffee how do you want it uh uh i don't know uh, i don't know how does it come like it's black you can get like cream milk oh i'll just have it that's how it comes okay <laughs> enjoy your black coffee <laughs> You can't be serious. Yeah, Yo, you give him a black. Yeah, give him a black gonna, coffee. They want a coffee just because it's free, but they don't know how to take a coffee. Yo. Fuck you. Fuck Yo. you. If you don't know how how to make a coffee, you shouldn't. Do I thought you would have gave him like one of those regular, just a regular. Oh, like how you want it? How it came? <laughs> Who the fuck is Because I mentioned it. I was like, you can get cream, milk, sugar. And he said, no, man, he, fuck you. So he said no to milk, sugar, and, and you just how it comes. Those little fucks, dude, they don't know. Give me the. Psh. There are people who get like 16 Splendors in a medium coffee. Yeah, 16 Splendors. This chick is iced tea. She gets fucking some Romney, just my Splendor. Uh, give me all the Splendor. And <laughs> this probably might come off racist, but you yeah. know, me and another buddy of mine that work there, like if we're on the drive through where like coffees are coming up on the screen, we yeah. gotta make them, but we can't see who's ordering them, you know? If a coffee, for whatever reason, this is about 90% of the time, maybe even 95% of the time, when a co- iced coffee is asked to have whipped cream on top, it's usually a Spanish person, right? Yes, so we have, yes, we have yes. Bets or like if a coffee comes with a whipped cream, like I bet it's a Spanish chick. <laughs> it's sure yeah. enough, it is. Yeah, or it's a white girl trying to be Spanish. Like, what's up? Like, and it's extra, extra cream in the coffee with like French, like vanilla and mocha or caramel in the coffee with yeah. the whipped cream on top, with the, with the drizzle, with on the top. drizzle on top. That's so much with sugar the on top. that would kill a small dog, and they're just pumping that in their system every day. Yeah, oh, you're like the worst choice of fucking. Oh, what do you need whipped cream on your iced coffee? For? You need whipped cream on your iced coffee. You know, I can I can see maybe like a colada. Yeah, or hot chocolate. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> that's over. That's too much. That's, that's taking advantage yeah, too much. Over. With a cherry. <laughs> I want a Big Mac and uh, can you put a large fry just scattered out with it? Yeah, in there? yeah. <laughs> just, just 
You have fries in there. You can do it. I I remember I went to this fucking McDonald's. I I ordered a um a fucking I think it was like a McChicken, two McChickens with cheese. I got a McChicken. I got two McChickens uh, with no cheese. All right, so they both had no cheese on it. What the fuck? But I was drunk, and before I really inspected it, I went and I just uh, took a bite out of the first one, and I noticed there was no cheese in it. Uh-huh. So I went back and or I went to the fucking knock on the window. Hey, he ain't got no cheese on it. And can, you, can you slap some cheese on it, son, or make me some new ones? You know? Okay, we'll take it in. They took it in, and they came back to the window, and they said, "Sorry." We can't do that for you. Why? You took a bite out of it. Then give me the one that I didn't take a bite out of. No. Won't you just throw some cheese on it? No. Won't you just give them, me, give them back to me? I'll yeah, just no. take them now. No. Well, when did you do this? Seacock? Seacock. Fuck, what the hell? Some bullshit. That's some bullshit. It's the customer service. <laughs> Yo. It's... Oh, you bought this? You want it? No! I don't give a fuck if we messed up. <laughs> You can't have it! <laughs> Yo, they, they, we fucked up, now you can't eat, okay? The fuck you think this is? Oh, it sucks so bad. That's where it's in North Korea. <laughs> Yo, man, the yeah. end. They, 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 didn't, they didn't even give me back my fucked up burger. My fucked up chicken sandwich. They I didn't know. even give me back the fucked up Nassles. chicken sandwich. I said, no. Ass. We have to We have to take Well we're not supposed to But people get so pissed off That we just do it anyway But like people will get a coffee From Another Dunkin Donuts These Shabump fuck And then they come to ours Cause like Oh I got this coffee It's fucked up And we're like You didn't get this here They're like Oh yeah I know It's sick What the fuck Why would you come to this one Like when I go back to Oh I don't know It's out of my way I'm on my way like, What the fuck What the fuck is going this on is here? This self entitlement For assholes You know Fix this Another place fucked up You know That's not our fucking problem You fucking asshole Damn man That happens like Twice a week Maybe more It's 24-7 I can imagine All the fucks That spew in there All types of All types of fucking Retards in there that's been politically correct, Michael. You're not retards. You're just fucking retard. But you know what? I'm not saying that. Mental as, fluid. You know, because, you know. Listen, they're smart, centered, come on. Masculine, fluid, <laughs> intelligent. You know. Sorry. I don't know everybody's syndrome or everybody's fucking, um, you know, medical condition. term, condition. How can I group them all? Retard. It's like that's not even what it means anyway. It does mean like somebody that's like stupid, like that. But not. Yeah, like but that's that. but that's the but thing. Not, I'm not even talking about that. I'm not. You know, I'm not there's talking people that, about that. That would take offense just because you said it. Yeah. You know. I'm not. You know. I'm not talking. Like about you those had that people. situation where you like said something like, "Oh, that fucking shirt is gay at the mall." Or something. Somebody, somebody mm. got on you for saying like, "Oh, you still say that word?" Like, yeah, yeah. That's an offensive word. You still say that? Like, I didn't call a homosexual gay in a yeah, violent manner. I said, you gay. know, this fucking clown suit is gay. It's fucking gay. Well, you still say that word. I take deep offense to the gay. But when they yeah, you're gay for saying that. Well, you know what? They're out there having. Gay parades. They literally put gay <laughs> We're parades. Gay. We're gay, 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 gay. gay but proud. but when you say it, yeah, hey, that's just gay. Oh, hey, look, Which it gay. is. It's some flamboyant little gay shit. Hey, look, they're gay. <laughs> oh, it's, 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 don't call me gay. Don't call me gay. Don't call me gay. What do you mean? You have... Sorry, we we get into that yeah. shit a lot. <laughs> we do. We have no problems with the gay. No, not at all. all. Not at all. It's just that there's just it, some things get taken. To the extreme, and then we understand people get offended over things that shouldn't be that serious. You know, if I say, issue. you know, stop acting like a fag. <laughs> I'm not saying stop getting dicks in your butt. No, I mean, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> just stop being stupid stop, at the moment. Yeah, stop being a little pussy. 
You don't say women saying, no, don't call them pussy. I'm a woman. Some do. There's some really? feminists out there. Oh, yeah, dude. You what can't say pussy, pussy. cunt. Yeah. You cunt. No, right. Get off your rag. Feminists will come on you like fucking roaches. Get off your rag, broad. Yeah, I mean, all this, all this left wing shit. That, that's why that, that story was great. Oh, because yeah. they finally just, it was like. And a, they, meet each, they met each other. Yeah, and was, yeah. For, for once they were uh, op- op- oppositioning themselves. And who won the feminine? Because yeah. white bitch, males are the problem in society. Yeah, 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 that's what it comes down to. In the end, that was their. That's right. Their resolution. I was agree. Was males are the problem. You fucking bitch. And I'm just saying that, you know. <clears throat> but it's crazy, you know. It, it, it's so radical. It's so liberal. You can't offend anybody no more. You have to say the exact right thing all the time. You exactly. know? There is no exact. Or it's like, like I can't say, I can't say, oh, what, the black guy? How am I supposed to know so much gender fluid? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, Are you a gender like, fluid? Like, oh, what's up, dude? I'm not a dude. I'm a gender, gender fluid. fluid. <laughs> you call me dude. I'm gender fluid. <laughs> That's why I talk like this. Punch you in the face if you say that. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, I, you're not supposed to. I, how am I supposed to know what everybody is? It's just, it's They're just gay. It used to just be easy, like boy, girl. Yeah, boy, girl. <laughs> that's yeah, it. That's, that's it. all I need is those two options. Yeah, boy, girl. You know, boy, call girl. whatever yourself you want, but if you Trans- look like one, I'm calling you tonight. that one. If you look like the other, I'm calling you the other. Period. I don't care. Really. If seriously, if if you look. What if it's a broad that looks just like a dude, or it's a dude that looks just like a broad that's all so dressed like up dyke. as a brick? You know. If I can tell it's like a chick, it's a dyke. It's a like, dyke. Since it's a dude, I'll say dude. Hey, it really, dude, really, yeah, really yeah. passes. There are some, though, now with, like, full beards and shit. Like, they're husky. They look like dudes. They yeah. inject themselves with the fucking testosterone. They're in dude. They take, induce, like, es- dude. estrogen reducers. And Fuck it. You're a dude. Yo, they spend a lot of money Good trying to turn them. themselves into a fucking dude or a chick. Good for or them. Like, Hey, Caitlyn Jenner is the new Olympic hero of America. Yeah, but, but Bruce Jenner was fucking rich as fuck. You know, there was no struggle there. It was like overnight that it changed. No, well, he changed his name to Caitlyn yeah, Jenner. Yeah, like overnight. Yeah, uh, overnight. Yeah, yeah, you're right. different. Bill Burr had a great fucking bit I on... I uh, gay now. He was a, a guest on Conan O'Brien's show, and he brought it up. He's like, he's like, people act like we, we can't even be shocked about what happened, you know? Yeah. It's like it happens so quick. It's you know, it's like if I shave my beard, people are like, "Oh, damn, that's what your chin looks like." But yeah. you know, Bruce walks out and comes back, and you're just supposed to be like, "Oh, hey, so Caitlyn." No, no, no. <laughs> no, it was so funny, no. man. It's, it's so true. Uh, it's true. How can you? You, know, do you that? can't be surprised that it happened. Like, what the fuck? It was a, it was a dude. It was a 60 year old dude last week. Yeah. And like prior to that happening, like a month or so, but he had. Killed somebody like his his um he had a, a car had crash right it was a car he was like crash. looking at his cell phone or something and he hit somebody pushed him into oncoming traffic yeah and, and they got hit he had a life changing experience to say the least and then he, that he goes and does that and everybody forgets that he like was the reason yeah, somebody yeah. died yeah cover it up I wanted to be a whore anyways anyways yeah. and plus you could Come carry on, sixty years old though like. You've lived more than half your life as a man. As you a just man. Like, yeah. you switch up yeah. now. You quit at life. <laughs> you, know, you, you know, and he was a great athlete. He was one of the greatest lad the athletes Olympic ever. Fucking ever. Olympic. He was the only one to, like, set some record. I think he got... He won the triathlon two times in a row, and nobody ever did that or some shit. But... Now... I used to read books on the guy. You know, as a kid... And now I look back at my childhood hero, and he's a motherfucking broad. Childhood hero. Yeah. Man, can't look up to a broad? Okay. Good. <laughs> uh, uh, but it's not. Uh, you're, you're fucking my brain. That's how America must feel. You're fucking my brain. Yeah. The 
Yeah, I'm not trying to say I can't look up to a female I do, but like an imposter female that was, I don't know how to explain it. I wish I could articulate it, and I know I could if I, you know, sat down and drank a whole fucking fifth of shit. <laughs> I'm drunk enough to make sense, damn it. <laughs> For real. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you should... There's nothing wrong with being shocked or confused about it. Like, people shouldn't get backlashed at being, you know, confused about yeah. that. Yeah. Like, I'm a some bad guy. Some people don't get it. Some people don't understand it. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm homophobic because it's hard for me to... <laughs> and it's not like you're, like, like lashing out being mean and, like, saying hateful shit. Like, you just don't understand it. That's fine. I don't understand why people... Some people kill other people. You know, yeah. are you going to yeah. hate me for being fucking anti-murderer? Like, yeah, yeah for real. Within for their real. brain? Not to say that's, like, the same level of whatever, but... It's not, but... Bad analogy. It, it's yeah. close to me. <laughs> People. You might as well <laughs> kill somebody. You queer. <laughs> you queer your boy. Gender fluid. Gender fluid. Whatever the fuck you are. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, but you know, that's what a lot of people say. That's what a lot of people are going to be saying. And, um, not necessarily my views, or they could be. Um, but... The yeah, thing is, it's really being forced upon us because, you know, I watch... Uh, Family. I might watch a, a family show or something like that, and I see gayness and homophobic shit. It'll be like two dudes kissing on, on two dudes kissing on a network called ABC Family. ABC Family, two dudes kissing. Like it's it's great. And, and on the same network, they have a child who's transgender. She, she, she it was a boy that turned to a girl. And, it's the, and the network is ABC Family. You know, they have Wake to up, people. With the times and promote that. That's forcing, I think right there, that's kind of like forcing it down your throat. Because, you, you know, it's like the kids are watching this and it's like, hey, look at this option. Look at this option. And yeah. Everybody, you just got change the channel. Yeah. Yeah. I think they should be <laughs> protesting to get this shit off the air. You have know that right. You know. You know, but at the at the same time, you know, put that on you know the gay channel. This is just my start opinion. Start a petition and you know, yeah. yeah, move. Nah, I ain't gonna start a petition. I'm just talking and uh, stirring some shit up. <laughs> Honestly. Shit. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't with it. I I can't I can't rock with it. You don't have to. No one's forcing.
guys sound good. Yeah. Switching up. Really uh, saliva, y'all. <laughs> saliva, man. House band. That's not really the name, but no, there, no, no. That's what we call them. Yeah, there yeah. is a band called Saliva, not to be confused with, with that band. There is? Yeah. They were more popular, uh, like the early 2000s. Yeah, I think you song Click Click Boom. You click, played it. Click, you played it that shit, and that shit was fucking great. <laughs> Superstar. That shit was great. I get them confused with them. It's not when you talk about both of them because they kind of have the same type of name. Yeah. <laughs> They're both bodily fluids in a way. <laughs> True. I wasn't too big into saliva. Nah. Nah, just... I mean, when it first come out, it was a couple songs are pretty good, but I never followed them after that. Hmm. You never know. I wonder if they did, you know, if they're, they're probably still doing the same thing now. Still probably doing it. Probably. I wish Snot was doing it, but, you know, yeah. circumstances. It's not still around, but the uh, vocalist. They got a brand new it's, one? Yeah, it's Young not kid? the same, though. No, I don't fucking follow them, man. It's not the same without Lynn, man. They, they, I don't think they should carry that name, man. Switch the band name up. Yeah, because it's... Like, even though they do older songs, but... Ooh, I, I, at least are the older songs that they do live are like good covers. I haven't seen them. Like, no, no, I've never catch them live. No, or all original band. I'm guessing. Um, I that's think, the only think, way to do it. I think two members are still from the original band. Uh, yeah, see, that's kind of weird stretching it. Because one of the, the guitarists had left and he went to Soulfly after that. Oh wow! They they hadn't like rocked it. So, oh, so that new guitarist is that the new guitarist that uh, Soulfly got picked up? Not the last album, but no, the one this before was that. A long time ago. Did you hear the new one yet? New Soulfly? Yeah. I listened to like half of it. Yeah. Yeah. I dug it. I just it's it's uh, he's not putting the same. Oh, instrumentation like organic yeah. shit that organic instrumentation that he has seems rushed yeah more like by the numbers a little he bit he has so much on his plate that he's been doing in the last few years there's other projects and like the earlier Soul Flies it was just that there's no side projects and he could focus a full year on, on strictly strictly Soul Fly dope man really dope well what else is he doing right now that's well, so that's time he's been going with Cavalier Conspiracy, his side project band with re- he reconnected. Yeah, with I remember. Brother. I remember seeing them live. We we seen yeah. them live because him and his brother started Sepultura, but when they split up, his brother stayed with Sepultura. He went to start you know Nail right. Bomb and Soulfly. Okay. So Cavalier Conspiracy is them together with a couple of dudes. Uh, well, what have um, they released in the last? Um, have they released anything? I think they have like four albums total. That's pretty cool. I don't really, I, I like follow them here and there, you know, I have their first two albums. Yeah. Um, then he, uh, there's a, a band called Killer Be Killed. Kill, killer Be Killed? Yeah, Killer Be Killed. Yeah. Not right. Kill or. Be L-L-E-R. Killed. Yes. Be Killed. Killer right. Be Killed. And it's a super group where four member bands from four, um, there's a dude I believe from Mastodon and then. Mastodon. Um, but it, it, it's cool. It's a cool concept because it's three vocalists. Ooh, three. Wow. Max is three the, vocals. Max is the guitarist and the vocalist. Then there's right. a vocalist from another band. From another band. Then there's a bassist, the vocalist from another band, and the drummer from another band. Damn. So, yeah, they, they. I listened to a couple of songs. They're really, really good. You know, it's not fully centered on Max though, because like. No, you know, no. There's so much. There's so yeah, many hands you know? involved, but it's it's a and cool it's, collaboration. Yeah, different twists because they're not all the same. You know, Max is that hard heavy. Yeah, yeah. There's a dude who's more like melodic singing. The dude is like in between. So that's a good little mix right there. Then, you know, <laughs> it was cool. That's a good mix. And then boom, pushed out. Oh yeah, and Soulfly album, and he's constantly torn. He would. Yeah, he is constantly all of those torn. All, all over the groups, world, man. He's torn. That's one guy that tours all over the world. Non-stop. Max. Non-stop. Not Max. Uh, Max. Yeah, Max. Uh, yeah. 
And yeah, he he taught us all over the fucking Brazil, Portugal, Europe. He'll go over to the Philippines. He's going to places that no other fans are going to because they're shit. afraid because of like civil wars and shit out in the Middle East and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, oh shit. He's like, those people deserve it. They need something. To they go need to something, yeah, let, right? Let out that frustration. Hell uh, yeah. yeah. Fucking so far. I, I wasn't a big fan until I see the guy live. And once I seen him live, it was like, yo, I'm with him all the way. He's, he has a love for it, man. Yeah, that's what you've seen. Ever since he that's picked up I've the guitar and the mic and rec- made that first yeah, note, they never stopped. He's never it, stopped. And like, it was like, really, like, like you hear that, you hear this phrase a lot, but it was like, he was one with the music when he was up there. It's yeah. like his <laughs> eyes were rolling in the back of his head with his fucking shit going, you know. He really knew his, his shit, his music, you know. Yeah, that's what it's about. So. Very inspirational. Yeah. Like, even if you listen to some of his older stuff from Soulfly, and like, even though it's so hard, and you see, like, his, his voice is so, you know, like, uh, uh, it's yeah. metal, but like, yeah. I mean, that's what you're listening to his lyrics. Some of the stuff is so lyrics. inspiration. It is no, yeah, no. It, it, was, really it was concept around soulful. It was spiritual. It was uplifting, enlightening at the same time as being you know dark and, and heavy. And you know, it was, it was a great mix of stuff. It was good, um, uh, like mix of the two, kind of like mm-hmm. like really uplifting lyrics with some really hard edge uh, melodies, and yeah. you know. And what else I have in like duality that he really played on. But their last like three or four albums, since the very first Soulfly album, they had a, a self-titled track, and it was an instrumental. And every album has it. Soulfly, Soulfly One, Soulfly Two. Oh Soulfly yeah, three. I love those. I love those. I have like three. I have like three. They're albums amazing. They're in the yeah, but the last three or four albums, you had to. They were like. Um, considered bonus tracks like if you bought the hard copy album it wouldn't be on it wouldn't it. be on it and to me that's that's this, that's this, that's not so fly nah man that's, that's not that's so fly. like what the fuck like they're just trying to put out that like heavier sounding for yeah with the like, new lineup this is what they were this is like sucks man cause they always have like two bonus tracks with every album you know at least and then that instrumental will be added Yeah, that new lineup is like I like like the new lineup is talented. Yeah, he, it's talented his, musicians. His, and his stuff. grandson is the drummer. Yeah, that's how rock and roll this dude is. <laughs> <laughs> He's been in it so like long. Grandson of the he dude. started when he was like 15, 16 with Sepultura. Damn. They didn't even know how to play the instruments and they got signed. Yeah, they didn't even know how to play. All right, you're signed, but just learn how to play those things. His grandson's older than that and he's playing for him. Shit. That's legendary right there. That's like, epic. Fuck That's Metallica. Epic. Max Cavalier is the embodiment of fucking rock and roll. Yeah. You know, these other people oh, up yeah. there with Ozzy. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. But he doesn't get that fucking He should be up there with those guys, man. I don't know why. Maybe it's shit he says. Maybe he's so uplifting, maybe, you know? know. You never know. Well, like, he, he talked about it, and they, they had this, like, uh, spoken word thing like interview type deal and um because he's he's like uh ignorant to uh the business side of music yeah he just wants yeah. to play music so yeah. he doesn't know about promotion he doesn't know about marketing and um uh damn I had a point to this what were we just talking about oh, yeah. You know, he had he had a business side to to the whole uh, music. Max, he wasn't used to uh, to the music to the music business. He, Max was not really yeah. used to the music business, and but he ended up. He, we were talking about something, and then I had a point that was like, and, and, and then he started talking to this dude, and he's. We could rewind that. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm burnt out. Yo, me too. <laughs> Damn. Because it was it was like a point that was relevant to what we had. We were just talking about. I forgot. It was like oh, I, I, to- I forgot what we were talking about in the first place. But I know we were talking about Max Volt. Yeah. And then something to do with why he cut up with the instruments and 
was something like why he couldn't get to like Ozzy's level or something. Yeah, we did touch on that. We did touch on that. Fuck it. Son. I don't know. He, he just... He needs to be recognized for his greatness. Very true. That dude, that dude amazed me when I seen him. I was a non-believer. He turned a non-believer into a believer and I'm a harsh critic and for him to do that, yes, that says something. And I said every time if I have a chance to see him, I'm going to check him up. Yeah, it's, it's, he's very humble. Yeah, that's probably why he, you know, he he's not let it get to him. He rocks really fucking hard too. Yeah. He rocks really fucking hard. Yeah, great set. That was a great night. Well, damn, uh, was that the, uh, the Fitchburg? Fitch was it Fitchburg? It was yeah, it was unique Fitchburg. Experience to say the least. Yeah, Fitchburg. Uh, Fitchburg, what Massachusetts? I think is. Fishburg Mass, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. New Hampshire. That New the, Hampshire uh, line. Indoor beach party in like yeah. January. It, what was the lineup in there? It was so many vans. It, was, uh, it started at two o'clock in the afternoon or something. Two. And Whoa. No, I think before that. I think we got there by like two. We got there at like two and we had these like fucking we dudes up there already. We watched so many fucking bands. We watched every single one from Rob. I remember Diecast being there, a band that used to have a state. Oh yeah, band yeah, band. Diecast. It was like a Hand of Doom. Yeah, um, Hand of Death. Doom and Orb of Death. Orb of Death, Orb of Death, Hand of Doom, yeah. And, um,. Prong was there. Prong was there. It, it was great. It was Prong. it was a, a a show being set, and it just so happened to be three tours coming in at the same time, and and they were able to book everybody those tours. Prong was on tour with Soulfly, opening up for Soulfly. Soulfly, who headlined the, the indoor beach party. Yeah. Um, Cold. Cold was on, on tour with Nonpoint. Nonpoint oh. was opening up for them. They both were there. Um, the diecast and the band with the chick with the vocalist and another band were yeah. on tour. Oh shit! And they, all those other bands were just local <laughs> acts that they just threw in there. That shit was <laughs> awesome for the whole day. And this audit it looked like a gymnasium auditorium. Oh with yeah, where it was in the bathroom. It was little kids. I think you had to get your beer out of a keg. All ages of men. Yeah. It was. It was Interesting experience. Very interesting experience. And, it, and it, one of the best um, concerts I've ever been to in my life because it was this non going, ongoing, non stop. Uh, cold, Lee Singer didn't give a shit. He was like s- stepping out with cigarettes on the cold stage. Cold is a, a great band, very overlooked, even when yeah. they were like heavy, like prevalent. But they I have him up on the wall down. somewhere. He's up there, up there somewhere. Um, yeah, yeah, they did rock. They, they fucking rocked it. Nine point. They rocked, rocked it. it so bad. It, nine point rocked it like unbelievable. They had everybody going crazy, fucking moshing, surfing. Yeah. Uh, That's when it really popped off. Beach that balls night. and toilet paper <laughs> flying everywhere. It was. Yeah. It was really something to see. It was something spectacular to see. It really was. It. Um, Wow. Wow. And what was the other... There was another one that was there. Uh, well, Cavalier, because... Uh, no, they weren't there. So Fly. So Fly, yeah. That, the, that was, to me, the best performance of the night. Everybody came out to see that. Yeah. It's great to see how much, like, love Nonpoint gets at all these different places. I've seen them in so many different spots. Probably the band I've seen the most... They're so consistent. They're fucking on the music, the albums, even uh, the live shows. Yeah, every they aspect. They get love everywhere. I've seen them. They always get. They never love. put out a bad album. They never, you know, rock a bad show. I seen them in a small venue and hardly anybody was there. And usually that's when bands slack off. But no, they went into it like a hundred and ten percent. That's how you have to do it. Whether really it's one fan or a hundred fan. fans or a thousand fans, it doesn't matter. You know, there's so many bands because they're used to just only playing for other bands and like their girlfriends and techies, and there's probably like two people that just happen to be there. Be there. You know, there's so many bands that have that that most of the crowd is just people they know and all the other bands and people, you know? Yeah, yeah. So you gotta rock it. 
every night, no matter. So that's what's up. Yeah, in non non point, they always they always his vocals sound just like the record. When he when he gets down, his vocals really live sounds just like the record. Yeah, and that's how you would. For me, you know, there's a lot of so many bands like growing up, and you know, you like them on the album, you see them, they're like shit, and it's like it made it or break it, break it for me. Yeah, with the yeah. band, you know, it's like you, you needed all those studio enhancements. I don't want to say any names, you know, but and then I, I still like will go back and listen to their albums and and dig it, you know, because yeah. no, no disrespect, the music's music, you know, and I, you know, I don't want to make it seem like. Yeah, okay, I figured whatever. But yeah, it's just it's like they you know, know it's it's tough. Like live performing live and shows, doing however many shows it is they're doing a year, whether it's thirty or you know a hundred, regardless, it's it's a toll and it's that's tough to do. It does, yeah. Perfect. Gotta think about that every day. You know, yeah. maybe I just caught them on a bad night. You know? True, you never know. But you know, I I have noticed that you know a lot of people that I really. You know, put on a pedestal and then you see him live. Yeah. And it's like I'll even like look shit up on YouTube and like yeah. try to find a good set of them to record. It's like yeah, this isn't even really. Yeah, it sucks, man. Can't say I'd be any better live. I, mean, it's just... I, mean, I know there's some bands probably that you know like live and but don't really listen to all the time. That's how I am with fucking Mushroom Head. That's how I... Even though I love Mushroom Head, I listen to it like a couple of their albums. But when I say I love them live because the element that they bring is so amazing. That's how I learned to like Soulfly. The mm-hmm. first Soulfly CD that came out, um, I remember Greg letting me borrow it because it was like a special edition double disc. It was awesome, like big album that opened up, like booklet and shit. And on the second album... Had like demos, live versions, all this shit. You know what I mean? And I would listen to their live songs more than their uh, the other. Oh songs. shit! So you listen even to the second this, disc? Even to this day, I love all their live shit because like the, a lot of their bonus tracks and some albums would be like live fucking songs and shit. It is something about seeing them live. It really is. Like like ninety eight, ninety nine. There's there's a set that they did in Ozfest. And it's fucking like it's it's him. It's, it's his vocal like like so raw. You know, it hasn't been like ten years of him screaming like that. He's only been doing it for a couple of years. Yeah, like, that'll do some damage to you. And he's fucking sounded amazing, dude. And there's like another one of him in Poland, where there's parts where it sounds like ten, like twenty thousand people are singing the song at the same time, dude. It's just dude, fucking crazy. Unbelievable that people out there singing with him screaming, and he does stadiums. He gets low all over. Yeah. Right and, and, uh, he does soccer stadiums in Brazil. It's fucking crazy. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, good guy. Maybe not man. now, but I know like at that time he was. Good guy, man. I don't know how, how prevalent he is in the Brazilian scene now. Now you never know. But, but he still tours the world. He's still like, making a living and providing for his whole family. Pretty much off of music and what he, he came from. He came from not even knowing, the, knowing how to play. For real. Even know how to play, and then that's what goes back to the music biz. Is is his uh, <laughs> his? I don't know if they were married at the time. It's his wife now, but uh, his girlfriend, whether or not you know, married then, whatever. She had flown them to America to meet because she had known she had like ties and like she worked for the music biz or whatever. And they played for this the, the record exec or whatever, and he, he had said that to him. He's like, yeah, you guys like have that, you know the the attitude and the intensity and all that, but. You just gotta learn how to play like together and like rhythm and you know yeah. learn the key instruments. He's like laughing about it and shit. Wow, they're like 15, 16. Yeah, <laughs> they had amazing, man. We, they had it. We look at Sepultura's first album. There's a picture of them on the back with all like meme mugging and shit. And he's so <laughs> young. It's so funny. And yeah, what what year was this around? Um, eighty, early eighties. No, late 80s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah late 80s. Oh, shit. Yeah, Sepultura. Sepultura. Yeah. Yeah, the they, uh, they, they're icons. Sepultura, they icons. for sure, the, the, this Roots album, you know, it's been the most, uh, like, 
people will say their best album. Really? When they really infuse uh, metal with a tribal sound. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, they had like what sounded like huge drum circles and the uh, maraca type feel. And nice. This is a, a song on their the first Sofa album called Tribe. And there's like a, a minute, a minute and a half of just instrumentation before the song starts. Yeah. It's got like a foreign instrument, which is like a wooden box, probably like uh, the size of like a large coffee cup. Okay. Or like maybe like a hole. It gets designed to like echo his voice. Okay. It's yeah. connected to a huge stick that has like a string, almost kind of like a, a bow and arrow, but it's real tight. You know? All right. And he's stick and he's banging the string. It's making like this bang, 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 bang. And he's singing into the box. So it's like echoing his voice. Oh, shit. Like, right in front of the microphone. It's crazy fucking Whoa, shit. Like, like oh, shit. that's the soul fly, you know, that I remember. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, man. I love their instrumentations, their instrumentals, yeah. man. Yeah. They're yeah. instruments from all over the world. They're amazing, yeah. Because he used to record albums in different parts of the world. I remember one album saying he recorded it in like two different spots in America and then somewhere in the Middle East and somewhere in like a, wow. a Europe you know just thinking yeah, like different fields and shit yeah you know wow. and he brings in for a lot of those soul fly instrumentations he brings in other uh, musicians he does play like you know whatever like this there's one wow, there's man. one of them that has a flamenco guitar solo that's just fucking I love it. I forget if it's like the third or fourth the one of the bad skills the flamenco guitar oh, players, I yeah. love that and I love hearing metal guitars play a flamenco guitar because they're they, that speed metal kind of thing. yeah when they yeah. play it on a flamenco it sounds fucking amazing oh dude. shit it's fucking amazing Just check that it's out it's had like huge like um, I think like a marachi like uh, um, not a big band what do they call it like bands and parades uh, marching band marching band he's had like a, like oh, there, there's a video of it there's like 20 of them in the studio oh shit singing this song yeah it's on one of the earlier albums wow yeah, they need to get, start incorporating more of that. Yeah. Incorporate more of that. He could do that. Yeah. Oh, man. Man, we've been going for an hour and a half. An hour and a half, oh. you know. It's, it, uh, yeah, been a pretty good up. episode. Pretty, been a pretty, pretty good solid. episode. You know, I think we got into a lot of stuff. Touched a lot of bases. And, uh, that's episode two. You know, thank you for if you if y'all still listening, uh, stay tuned. Saliva will take you out. Brought to you by King Kramer Crayons. KKK. I I mean, uh, sorry, the, that sponsor is now <laughs> dumb in the. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh. We I can't. told you we shouldn't got King's Kramer's yeah, crayons. Yo, they were, they were the only ones, but damn it. Alright, they are, listen, the, <laughs> the symbol on the box may come as a little offensive, but Oh, the guy with the, the King, guy with the fucking huge He's dressed as the white crayon and with the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know the, the the three K's over him, but it's because he's just he's promoting he's, King Kramer's crayons. Crayons. Aren't you supposed to spell crayons with a C? Well, it, it's like a gimmick for the yeah. King Kramer. Just so you can get you know. that third. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> Look, I don't make the rules. Uh, I, I just, well, I guess we got to... Yeah. Look, I, we're probably not going to have gonna it as a sponsor them? anymore. No, we, no, no, we have to. No, I'm going to no, have to put that in. Yeah, we got to um, get that. We got to sponsor us out there. Hit us up. It's all going wrong. But uh, we'll see you next time. Brought to you by Paps Blue Ribbon. No, bro. We just, we like bear. Merry Monks. Waybacher. Waybacher.